What is up and welcome back. I am Cody Pratt aka Random Hero. I remember when I started getting tattoos a really long time ago. Aquaphor was the go-to product for healing your tattoos. But what if I told you that Aquaphor wasn't as good for you as you may think it is and that you should be using something else? Let's talk about that. As products evolve and we learn more, we find out that maybe there are products that work better or maybe these existing products don't work as good as we thought they did. Now, as far as I can remember, the majority of tattoo artists that I have met have always recommended Aquaphor when it comes to tattoo healing. But what if I told you that Aquaphor isn't as good for your tattoo as you once thought. Now before we go any further, let me express to you that this is just my personal opinion and I've based this opinion on all the research that I've found. If you want to continue to use Aquaphor to heal your tattoos, then do it. But when I tell my clients to use lotion instead of Aquaphor, all that and the aftercare procedures that I tell them to use and do is me guaranteeing my work based on how I want them to heal their tattoo. Okay, so why was Aquaphor recommended to heal tattoos? Well, it was great at protecting your tattoo and keeping it moisturized. It had enough petroleum jelly in it to protect the tattoo but also not enough to suffocate the tattoo or the open wound. When using Aquaphor, you should only use it for roughly the first three days. And then after that, you should switch to an unscented lotion. You could have used it longer, it would continue protection, and in the scabbing process, it would moisturize, and because it was also a healing ointment technically, it would also help heal your tattoo. So why don't I like Aquaphor? Well, I think some of it comes from the uncertainty of how to use it. Some artists were saying use it like this, and others were saying use it like this, and that could be confusing. I think Aquaphor has the tendency to overheal your tattoos, but we'll get to that in a minute. Let's start with the ingredients list. Now this part is a little sciencey and just a little boring, but I do feel it's pretty important. So first off, it has 41% petroleum jelly, which doesn't sound like a whole lot, but it's still petroleum jelly. It also contains mineral oil, which is extracted from petroleum, which some argue that mineral oil isn't really good for your skin, but I'm not a scientist. Saracen, which is a mineral wax from shoal rocks or coal. Lanolin alcohol, which you get from animal skin. Panthenol, which comes from vitamin B. Glycerin, which is used as a moisturizing agent, and then bisabolol, which is derived from the chamomile plant. So from that ingredient list, and I'll get into this in a second, but I just like something that's a little bit more natural. Another reason I don't like it is because it's easy to overapply. Throughout the day, it's easy to put on too much. Also, it is easy to put on too much at one time. It's meant to be put on in a very thin layer. And when you put on too much aquaphor or a thick layer, this can create a thick barrier which can prevent your tattoo from getting oxygen. And if you don't remember from other videos, if your tattoo doesn't get enough oxygen which your body needs to heal, tattoo can come out faded, it can heal improperly, there's a lot of things that could happen. Again, the reason for all this is to create the perfect environment for your body to heal itself. And then honestly, and I mentioned this a second ago, the final reason I don't really like Aquaphor is because it's just not as natural as I personally would like it to be. I understand that all products that I use throughout the tattooing process or maybe the healing process might not be all natural. But for the most part and as much as I can control, I would prefer what I use to heal my tattoos with to be all natural 
organic or vegan. And to be honest, there are too many really good healing products to just be using Aquaphor. So if you're thinking to yourself, wow, Cody makes a really good point here. I don't think I'll use Aquaphor anymore. But you don't know what products to use. Real quick, let me give you a couple of products that I really like and stand behind. One of the main products that I tell all my clients to use is Palmer's Heals and Softens Cocoa Butter. You can get it at just about any store. It's quick and easy to use. Just remember to apply a thin layer. Another product that I really like and I actually have started using it during the tattoo process instead of Vaseline is Hustle Butter. You can get it online. It's fairly inexpensive, but I absolutely love it. It's all natural and a vegan product. And you can also use it during the healing process. And lastly, probably my favorite product, and I've just started using this, is Lucky 13 Tattoo Balm. It's really good for the tattoo aftercare, but also it's really good for rejuvenating old tattoos. And a quick disclaimer for all that, I am an affiliate for Lucky 13, but I wouldn't endorse it if I didn't stand behind it. And if you want to try it out, go to this website. It's supportyourink.com. And then on checkout, you can put the code I am Cody Pratt to save 25% off your whole order. So that is why I don't recommend Aquaphor to my clients anymore. And if people ask me what I recommend, it's not Aquaphor. Again, if you want to continue using Aquaphor, then do it. It's free country and it's your body. Like I said, I prefer more all natural products and the ones I mentioned before. Are top notch. Let me know in the comments below if you use Aquaphor or if you use something different. Don't forget to show some love and like this video by clicking the thumbs up button. And as always, you can support this channel by subscribing. It would really help out and be sure to click that little bell icon to get notifications when we come out with more tattoo education and tattoo advice videos. That's it for me guys. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.